Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two top performing coolers, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 ARGV versus the NHD15's traditional design. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. Each of these coolers features a unique solution, with the Noctua's NHD15 being the current golden benchmark for air coolers. Well, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 is a budget-friendly AIO. The Noctua NHD15 features a dual heatsink setup with two large 150mm fans and six exposed heat pipes. This cooler is offered in the traditional Noctua colors along with an all-black design. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 ARGB features a three-fan setup with an AIO liquid cooling system. This cooler only comes in a sleek black design but comes in both an ARGB and a non-ARGB version. In regards to installation, the NHD15 offers a simple and straightforward installation. However, given its size, it can be difficult to place depending on your case. On the other hand, the Liquid Freezer 2 360 has all the fans connected to the radiator out of the box, so all that's left to do is to connect the AIO pump to the CPU and the radiator to the case. But we know you're here to see how these coolers differ, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line. Noise on the right represented by the dash line and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Liquid Freezer 2 360 in red has similar performance to the Noctua NHD15 in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that both coolers have comparable cooling above 40% fan speed. However, the NHD15 is also slightly louder at the higher fan speeds. As we turn up the heat to 125 watts, we can see that this trend continues. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, both coolers continue to perform similarly. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the NHD15 has a slight advantage. And when we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the NHD15 marginally extends its lead. If you're curious on how the Liquid Freezer 2 360 stacks up against the Liquid Freezer 2 240, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.